Hello friends. So today in this video, we're gonna discuss another problem from Lead Code. Problem name: Find a corresponding node of a binary tree in a clone of that tree. So what you are given in this problem is you are given two binary trees, a original and a clone. So both the binary trees are exactly the same. But the problem is like because both of these trees are different. Different it means that they they require different memory allocation. Though both the trees are same. but see if you like if you make two trees which are exactly same but they allocate different memories now because you have stored these trees differently in the memory so now there's a cloned tree and the original tree so you are given a reference to a target in the original tree so you are given a reference that i like i have a node or like i have a pointer which is pointing to a particular node inside the original tree which is given as a target so which is like a tree node pointer which is equal to target okay so now you have to find out that you have to find out the same node like so as you can see because both of the trees are same okay you have to find out the correspondingly same reference node in the cloned tree so as you can understand more with the example if you are given this as a like this is the original this is the cloned tree you are given that my pointer is pointing towards this node so this node is corresponding to this node in the clone tree so you are given the address of this node and you have to return the address of this node okay i hope you get the point so you actually have to find out the same node address in the other tree okay so what you can simply do in this problem is because you do not know that this tree is some sort of a binary tree because you are only given the reference or the point, like an address to particular this node so what you can simply do here is because uh, you can just do a dfs okay uh, on this binary search okay so what you can do here is just do a dfs on this binary tree and correspondingly do the same dfs on this clone tree and whenever you reach the target node because you are doing the same dfs on both the trees simultaneously so when you hit this node in this tree you are simultaneously also hitting on this particular node so just save this particular node address and that's done Okay, I can directly show the code part. If you have any doubts, I can also like free feel to mention on the comment box. I will help you to find out the any if you have any problem. So I have written down an OK function, which is actually the recursive function to do the DFS on both the original and the clone tree. So I have to actually send the original tree address, the clone tree, and the target value which we have to find out, and I have to return the answer which is a global. like a uh, tree node pointer which is actually store the corresponding address of the node in the clone tree so what i actually do in this okay function is i take the input of as a argument of the original tree the clone tree uh, like tree pointer and the target my base condition will be this is the base condition when my original pointer because i am iterating over this original tree pointer which is this original pointer is actually giving me the pointer i am currently on so in dfs what i can do i iterate over the current node and then go to left and right so if at any point i hit a null which means that i cannot go any further i will return out at this point okay if at any point my original value the 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 node i am on on the original tree it matches the target tree it means that okay i am on the node which i am looking for so now see that same node in the cloned tree so i will mark the same node in the cloned tree which is here in answer because there is only one target value i will not see that same target again so i will just take that cloned particular pointer i am on and store that into that answer uh, which is a global value okay if i do not hit that point what i'll do i'll recursively call this okay function again for the left side and for the right side so what you can see here is when i go to the left side from the original tree as you can see i'll simultaneously also call this left pointer on the clone tree okay and same will do for the right pointer on the original tree so i will also go to the right side on the clone tree so it means that i am iterating over the or like i am doing a recursive call on the clone tree and the original tree on this and like at the same time because when i'm calling the original tree for the left side i am also calling the clone tree for the left side so it is like iterating over both the point at the same time and whenever i find out that i am on the target value on the original tree i will be also simultaneously on the cloned tree 
like same node value so i will now store the address of that clone value in answer and then in the end we have to turn on the answer value I hope you understand. So it's just a basic DFS problem on the binary tree. If you understand the basic DFS recursive call, you can easily write down this function. And whenever you hit the target value, you can return out the value. I hope you get the point and the intuition and the word for this problem. If you have any doubts, you can mention down. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep coding and bye.